Evening everyone, uh, welcome back to another night of online youth. It's day 78 of isolation, and I don't know about you, but I'm absolutely hating it. Regardless, we're all here to share in God's word, so have your Bibles open to James chapter 2, uh, verses 14 and 26, and we'll get started. Aquatic respiration is a term that we use to describe how fish breathe underwater. It's pretty cool. It involves the use of their gills, which exchange carbon dioxide uh, with oxygen, which they can use to stay alive. This is all possible because water has oxygen dissolved into it. But if this wasn't the case, the fish would only survive a few minutes before it died. And without water, their gills would collapse um, as there isn't enough surface area um, for the oxygen to be absorbed and then they would still die. This is exactly how faith and deeds work. Faith being the water, oxygen being the deeds. Faith without deeds will not sustain and deeds without faith is useless. Let me explain. So firstly, faith needs deeds, without it, it'll die. Faith alone isn't really enough. Even the demons believed in God and they're kind of still in hell. Without deeds, our faith doesn't accomplish much for God's kingdom. This is clearly shown in an example in verse 14. Uh, it says, suppose a brother or sister is without clothes and daily food. If one of you says to them, go in peace, keep warm and well fed, but does nothing about their physical needs, what good is it? In the same way, faith by itself, if it's not accompanied by action, is dead. In this example, yeah, you might uh, have faith in that person that they will stay healthy and stay warm, but is this really going to help them at all? In the same way, we might believe in God's message of salvation, but if you're not acting on it and actively telling people about him, that faith that you have isn't really doing much for his kingdom. We believe in God, and because we have that faith, we should be taking action and listening to how God wants us to live. Because if we don't, we aren't achieving what God set us out to do. Faith isn't just useless without deeds, but it also doesn't last. Have you ever heard the expression, if you're not moving forward in your faith, you are moving backwards? It's the whole idea behind the next step um, idea that we had at church a few months ago. So it means when people aren't taking uh, an action to serve God and live out his will, their faith slowly starts to deplete. It's kind of like a car. We have faith that it will drive along, but if, it's, if that's all we give it, just faith and no fuel, then it's eventually going to run out and die. Just like our faith in God, if we don't fulfill it by living the way God wants us to, we will slowly deplete our faith and run out. Also, if we just believe that the car will drive, but never really use it, it's useless. It's just sitting there. In the same way, if we have faith in God but never act on it, then it is also useless as we aren't using it to complete God's will. So, what are some practical applications and ways that we can back our faith with our deeds? Here is a few. Firstly, always be looking um, to take the next step in your faith, either by committing to reading the Bible and praying more. Um, and actually doing it, not just setting a plan and forgetting about it, like uh, we all suffer doing. Take up a role in serving God is another one. There's many ways that this can be done. Sharing a testimony, helping out at church and welcoming, Bible reading, supper, or even leadership for the older youth, uh, helping out at Spark or Explorers. Another one can be sacrificing things for God, just like Abraham was willing to do. So not hanging out with your mates on a Friday or Sunday night when you know church and youth is on. Um, or going to your school's Christian group, um, even if it means you have to miss out on a sick handball game. Um, or plan to get your schoolwork done ahead of time so you can actually read the Bible and pray and go to church. So faith needs deeds to stay alive. So act out your faith in the way God designed you to. What about deeds alone? Well, deeds alone, unfortunately, can't save either. In this passage, James mostly just talks about faith without deeds and how it's dead. But what about the other way around? What about just deeds? Do we need the faith? Well, Matthew chapter 7, verse 22 to 23 tells us this isn't going to cut it. Uh, many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name and in your name drive out demons and in your name perform many miracles? Then I will tell them plainly, I never knew you. Away from me, you evildoers. Wow, this sounds pretty harsh. These people are called evildoers for doing works in God's name. 
but where was their faith? Did these people believe in God? Did they believe that Jesus was sent to die for their sins? Well, Jesus knew that they didn't have a faith. Without a faith, were they even doing it for God? And if not, what was their intent? Well, they were doing it to make themselves look better, just like what the Pharisees did. They always followed all the laws. They always prayed in public places um, and did anything for God for others to see. They didn't care about why they were doing it, just who was there to see how righteous they looked. These deeds that we do to make ourselves look better have no faith supporting them and don't bring us any closer to God. However, having deeds but no faith may not be intentional. We live in a society that is obsessed with what you do, how hard you work, how cool and popular you are. This makes it so easy for us as Christians to fall into a trap of thinking that this is what God wants us to do. It's not at all. God doesn't want us to be his slaves, toiling away for him in fear of not pleasing him and not meeting his expectations. God loves all of us as he made us as his children, and he wants us to have a relationship with him, knowing who he truly is and having a faith in what he promised, eternal life. Remember, we are saved by grace through faith. I like to think about it as like having a dog, all right? Every day you feed it and take it for a walk when it needs the exercise. And it turns out this dog is actually really cute too. So you take lots of photos of it and you post it on Instagram and you get lots of likes. Um, but will the dog really love you back? You're doing the deeds that need to be done when owning a dog, like food and exercise. Um, but if you don't play with him, if you don't pat him, if you don't spend time with him, is he going to really love you back? I don't think so. So how do we do deeds right? A really good example of deeds done poorly is the Fast and Furious franchise. I'm sure you've seen all the movies, or some of them at least. Um, in every single movie, at least, someone dies or someone something is stolen. Um, and then at the end, they all gather around a table and pray. Most of them wearing golden chains around their necks. This is all for show, if you haven't already figured, um, to make it look like they're on the good side. But do they actually have a relationship with God? No, they do not. So, don't let your deeds be for show. Let your deeds reflect accurately your faith in God. So, what about this? Don't feel compelled to share or like those posts on Facebook that tell you to if you're a Christian. The ones that are like, comment amen um, and keep scrolling and go to hell. Those are useless. Don't bother. Because that's not what your faith is built on. Or don't feel like you need a Bible verse in your bio on a social media page because otherwise you think people won't know you're a Christian. Never think that God doesn't love you because you don't do enough. But remember that it's our faith that saves us. And lastly, don't let your deeds define who you are around other Christians. In most cases, a lot of us act different around people at church compared to our non-Christian friends because we want to show others uh, that we are Christian. But if you change how you act when you leave church or, or youth on a Friday or Sunday night, your good deeds that are brought about at church um, for you making yourself want to look good, um, they're just for that. They're making yourself want to look good instead of serving God. Make sure that the way you act is because of your faith. Deeds alone aren't what saves us, but faith in God is. This brings about good deeds that help us in our faith and help us to serve God. So, Act out your faith. Remember, that is just like how a fish uh, needs water with oxygen. We need faith with the deeds. There is no surviving with just the oxygen, and there is no salvation with just the deeds. Like Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 tells us, it is by grace you have been saved through faith. But is it just faith alone? 